Nobody, nobody likes a hemisphere joke. In 1997, scientists cloned a sheep named Dolly and shocked the world. The world of science. Well, today, Dolly is a mere scientific footnote, and a new cloning maverick gets ready to make history. Matt Walsh reports. Nowadays, married couples are waiting longer than ever before deciding to have children. But this story is not about those people. It's about this man and his dream. Meet Randy Wicker, owner of an antique lighting boutique in Greenwich Village. His dream? To one day have a child. But with his biological clock ticking away and his gayness a foregone conclusion, Randy realized there was only one logical thing to do. I would like to clone myself. And with recent breakthroughs in cloning, all it would take is an unprecedented act of Congress, a monumental shift in ethical thought, and several medical miracles. Already, Randy has begun crunching the numbers. How much will it cost for you to clone yourself? Somewhere between thirty and three hundred thousand dollars. Now, how do you plan on cloning? Could, 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 could I just get a plug-in for my store, sure. AmericanDeco.com? People spend years looking for certain shades for these deco insert fixtures, and we have them. How many clones do you wish to Can have? Can I also say that we're located at 506 Hudson Street, and we're right near the Sheridan Square stop of the subway? Unfortunately, cloning isn't as easy as just plunking down thirty to three hundred thousand dollars. Randy will face resistance from extremist groups like the federal government and the Catholic Church. Once you accept cloning for any reason, you have to accept cloning for every reason. And that's the problem. And the slippery slope is what you're talking about. Raising people for their body parts. Or for food. But Randy has a morally sound justification for cloning himself. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Yeah, it's tough to find a good employee. Tough. It's impossible to find a good employee. Could you get me a price on that lamp? Coco? This one's 89. The customer's waiting. It's 89.50. Would you like me to wrap that up? Can I have somebody wrap that up for me, please? The customer's waiting. I'm on it. That means now, please. Yes. And the very thought of more than one Randy Wicker has put fear in the hearts of the anti-cloners. Is Randy Wicker a madman? I can't say that he is. Have you seen the prices he's trying to sell those antique lamps for? I have. The sconces? Yes. You have to be crazy to buy a $1,000 sconce. A $1,000 sconce would be mad. What do you say to your critics who call you a madman? They haven't shopped up their east side in New York. I have the best prices in the whole city. Let me pose an ethical question. If a gay antique store owner in his mid-60s cloned himself yes. and then had sex with his clone, would that be incest or masturbation? That would be incest. Why isn't it masturbation? Honestly, I do not know. While ethicists may ponder this question for decades, Randy Wicker ultimately may find that he's opened a Pandora's box with no escape in sight. What if your clone opened up an antique lamp store right across the street and began slashing prices? Well, that would be unthinkable. Or would it? It's, you know, it's, it's unthinkable. I, I, I refuse to answer a disgusting question like that. You've gone beyond, you've gone beyond decency. Matt Walsh, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Uh, what an excellent investigative report. What a frightening vision Indeed, John. Uh, of our future. It's a brave new world, indeed. Experts speculate, too, that very soon all retail employees will be clones. This trend will carry into the fast food industry as well, and we can only hope to God they clone the cool managers. Not, I'm talking about the ones who get high and let you take off on Fridays. Not the d managers. The ones who have a horrible marriage and are constantly telling you, hey, Walsh, no personal calls at work, okay? Okay, Chuck, I heard you already. Give me a break. I freaking hate you! I was calling my mom for a ride home! Matt Walsh.